Good morning, and today we are checking out something that dropped yesterday, which is Solar's Spit It Out. And what I'm hoping from this music video is Solar is a firework vocalist. I'm hoping that whoever wrote the song gave her a chance to really exploit and show off those firework vocals. So let's check this out and action. Right off the bat, this is great framing. You notice how all these uh, nails are pointing inwards like arrows right to her face. Good framing. Good aspect ratio change. It's like you're closing your eyes, closing out a section of the scene. Now we're starting again. This lighting in the front is amazing. You see how shiny and the lights are reflecting off all these pants and stuff. And they're using a lot of strobes in the beginning, so they're already creating a lot of texture. Hopefully it goes somewhere. Great shot. Uh, most cameras are kind of, you know, the thick body here, like my Canon right there, and then there's a lens, and so you would have to hold, someone would have to hold the uh, match right by the lens and tilt it slightly in, or else it would have to be more like this, and it would look more um, perpendicular to the lens, so if someone had to do that, it has to be a macro lens to get that shot, super good. <sighs> Hmm. I think this is a shot on a GoPro. You can tell. Hold on. You see how the corners are a little bit warped here? It's sort of like a fisheye. Um, that's kind of something that's wrong with GoPros. Uh, that's why I never use them. And uh, for some reason they shot this on a GoPro. Okay. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't a GoPro, but they somehow they put an effect to make a fisheye. For some reason I don't know why they did that. Are you guys noticing they're pushing in and out a lot from her instead of moving side to side? They're doing a lot of push-ins and outs. I wonder if it's because she's a solo artist and what they're trying to do is just really keep her in the center of the frame the whole time. Check it out. Back up a little bit. They spent a lot of money on this. There's a lot of scenes, high production value. It looks amazing. Is that a, is that a dress? super cool. Ooh, okay. This framing here is awesome. If you notice here that, um, for one, it's a very industrial area and it's light and they look very dressed up and they're wearing dark, so it's a high contrast. Also, if you notice here, these stairs are pointing right down towards the middle, so your eye line goes right down the middle to her. It's very good composition. A huge industrial complex, it gives so much depth. It's, it's the same area, and they just changed and put a car there. This all might be in the same building, just different parts of the building. Yeah, it's all in the same building. Yeah, it's all in the same building. So you notice these, uh, these windows, the shape of these windows back here, it's the exact same shape of the windows here. Oops. Here, same same windows. And why not? Hey there, it's such a cool area. So on the yeah yes where she moves her hips, is she the only one who does that? Because if so, that's really great. Let's look at it again. Yeah, 
really like this almost profile shot because it shows all this depth and it's a real textural difference because everything has been straight on so they're using this one shot here to show sort of more of a profile and they do this contagious where they well the reason they're doing this is they're showing each one of the persons doing this thing with their hand and dance they call it a contagious <clears throat> um it'd be cool if they use this shot from here on out where they use sort of a three quarters shot as well to kind of mix into things we'll see if they do or not as soon as they start adding it into this this is a beautiful shot you know she's looking right at the camera and this three-quarter shot gives you the depth of all these people fanned out in the back looking at her in shallow focus would have been better if she was slightly over here to give it more depth because now you have all this empty unused space over there Creating more texture by just changing the uh, scene here with uh, the black lights. You notice all the angle switches of the camera. Usually in TV and film, that's done to show that things are off. It's called a Dutch angle. But here, they're just using it to uh, show that uh, to add texture. It's very shallow focus on that. She bald? She looks bald. She can't be bald. <laughs> she is bald. Okay. I was gonna say, she looked kind of bald. I wonder... I wonder if this is outside of the parking lot of that big industrial area. I wonder if it was all in the same complex. Probably was. Yeah, it's the same, the same, uh, the same place. They just keep on redressing it different. Oh, such a pretty shot. She's so well lit. They probably have some bounce boards on her, and all that fire in the background. Wish she was a little bit more here. On to the right, but wow, beautiful shot. Yeah, it's so good. She's over in this frame, the side, and then all the red is over here from the fire. This is really great framing. It's more traditional TV film framing. And uh, she looks beautiful. They really light her well. She's a pretty girl. It's my favorite shot. This is the end of the video. What I'm hoping is is that they'll do a close up on her to kind of have you really connect with her before the end. I'm sure they will. There it is. Awesome. Production value, a lot of the shots are amazing. I wish that they had texturally, I wish there had been, it seemed very random. I wish there had been a more definitive, um, easily discernible reason why they were changing textures in different places there were. But other than that, like it was definitely high budget, really well shot, high production value. She looks great. I'll go back to what I said earlier though, is that I wish that they had really given her a song that really showed off her voice more, that someone could say, hey, there's only a handful of people in the world who can sing like Solar. Let's give her a song that only a handful of the people can sing with this soaring chorus that no one can sing except for her to really be like, wow, this is amazing. Really catchy song. They could have probably used her voice a little bit better. Showed it off a little bit more, but other than that, super good. Okay, guys, it's a wrap.